If you've been looking for a simple but foolproof homemade icing, congrats, you've found it. The perfect not too thin, not too thick topping for your treats is as simple as stirring up a little sugar, milk, vanilla plus a touch of food coloring, if you're fancy. Break O. Expert tips easily design a swirl pattern on your cookie icing by frosting each cookie with icing and then piping four to five small dots, red, green or blue, of colored frosting or gel food color on top of each cookie. Vanessa Bryant is addressing her mother's, unimaginably hurtful, lawsuit. In a strongly worded statement on Thursday, Bryant said her mom, Sophia Lane, is trying to extort a financial windfall from our family nearly a year after the death of Kobe and Gianna Bryant. Bryant lost her husband and 13-year-old daughter in the January helicopter crash that also claimed the lives of seven others. Lane, 68, is suing Bryant, 38, for financial support, claiming she worked unpaid as a longtime personal assistant and nanny for the family, according to documents obtained by People. Lane claims in the lawsuit that before Kobe's death, he promised to take care of her for the rest of her life. Bryant refuted her mom's allegations on social media. I have supported her for nearly 20 years, and she was never my or Kobe's personal assistant, nor was she a nanny, Bryant began. I have always been a stay-at-home mother and my husband and I were our daughter's full-time caregivers. Bryant also shared daughters Natalia, 17, Bianca, 4, and Capri Kobe, 18 months, with the NBA legend. For nearly two decades, we arranged for my mother to live in our nearby properties, at no cost to her because she had claimed that she didn't have any money to buy her own home after her divorce. Immediately swirl color with a toothpick and marvel at your masterpiece. To make sure your sugar cookie icing doesn't run, make sure to cool your cookies completely. Have fun playing with different icing colors and designs. My husband and I felt it was best for her not to live in our home. You don't need to be an artist to create a beautiful and delicious cookie. She watched our girls from time to time, just like most grandparents do. She did not take care of business issues or expenses, Bryant stated. She was a grandmother who was supported by me and her son-in-law at my request. You got this. This easy icing for cookies can be adjusted to your liking. For a thicker consistency, simply add less milk. Nutrition information percent daily value asterisk asterisk percent daily values are based on a 2000 calorie diet. We also love. She now wants to back charge me $96 per hour for supposedly working 12 hours a day for 18 years for watching her grandchildren. In reality, she only occasionally babysat my older girls when they were toddlers. As of 10 years ago, our kids were full-time students and athletes and I didn't have another child until 2016, she continued. Her claims are obviously false but I still tried, repeatedly, to work things out with my mother. Contrary to what she's saying, I haven't left my children's side since the accident except to visit the cemetery to make arrangements. Bryant referenced the Univision interview Lane gave in September where she claimed she was kicked out of her home. Earlier this year, I was looking for a new home for her and, a week later, she went on television and gave an interview disparaging our family and making false accusations while living rent-free in a gated apartment complex in Newport Coast. Even after that betrayal, I was willing to provide my mother with monthly support for the rest of her life and that wasn't good enough, Bryant said. She instead contacted me through intermediaries, contrary to what she claims, my phone number hasn't changed, and demanded $5 million, a house and a Mercedes SUV, Bryant alleged. Because I did not give in to her hurtful threats and monetary requests, she has spiraled out of control and is making false and absurd claims. Bryant concluded, she is now trying to get more money than my husband and I ever spent to provide for her while he was alive. She has no regard for how this is affecting my children and me. She wants to live off of my daughters and me for the rest of her life while continuing to collect monthly alimony from her ex-husband since 2004. My husband and I have never discouraged or kept her from providing for herself. This lawsuit is frivolous, disgraceful and unimaginably hurtful. My husband never promised my mother anything and he would be so disappointed in her behavior and lack of empathy. Read more from Yahoo Entertainment.